So Pisces, bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. And the universe, we have endings, what's going on? Uh, we do have the world and uh, the Hierophant. For some of you, it might be a Taurus, but I, um, I feel this is about a commitment, about a marriage that ended. Still, it, that is a lot of love in it and a bit of confusion. Choose wisely and harmony. We might have had a little bit of struggle um, having a very harmonious um, connection with this person of yours, uh, husband, wife, the, the Hierophant. We know it's about the marriage, of insti uh, the institution of marriage, right? And, um, and then it ended. And now we wonder why and we need answers, right? This is unfinished business and ending with a lot of questions about commitment um about their love towards us um you know were we an option that's a seven of cups right questions about um, maybe we were just an option but let's see right let's find some answers there so past energies on your side the person you are dealing with um and mutual current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual and let's have the possible outcome for you the person you are dealing with and mutual now it, it is intended for you on the left side and the other person on the right side but you know you only take what resonates and you take the side you resonate the most with i do love the judgment so we do have a divorce over here four of wands trapped in fear that is a marriage that ended and now we are waiting for a judgment day a decision um something um that might um you know keep you um i don't know why i'm hearing a float but you tell me right um so pisces what happened we do have the death scorpio energy and the two of pentacles that was an ending a transformation and uh, a path to choose a decision to make some movement to decide on and some choices to go about um right and uh, two of pentacles it, it has this energy of an ending of a connection that made you work uh, for it or made you somehow focus and put some effort into it or that was um you know one of those endings that really worked you up in in so many ways and maybe made you transformed um, in such a way and it is rock bottom i'm not gonna lie right but then i love seeing the two of pentacles in the uh, in the past or maybe recent past because it speaks to me and reassures me that you had the energy and the drive and the stamina right to move forward two of pentacles to continue doing your job and whatever mission you are called to do on this um, on this planet despite all this and in the process right we got the butterfly wings so but it was tough i know i know um so pisces this person of yours temperance such that is energy and the six of wands um it has this um desire to compromise but too proud to do it kind of six of wands is the energy of pride it's the energy of um you know wanting to win but in the same time it's, it has the energy of compromise and meeting you halfway um different energy right i'm pretty sure you're kind of seeing it uh we have on your hands an ending fundamental decisions important decisions transformational decisions um while figuring out what's going on while this person comes from a place of victory and success and uh, a place of balance kind of like if they decided to end this it's kind of like uh through the decision they reached a place of uh, of patience and a place of um you know a, a different i would say dynamic now mutual energies between the two of you in the past recent past or uh, it's been a while maybe for some of you we do have the hermit virgo energy and the wheel of fortune and again two different dynamics one of solitude and lessons just like the transformation one right one that uh, um kind of questioned you fundamentally right or made you question yourself and uh and the energy of flow and the energy of acceptance allowance uh, and destiny right allowing things not allowing but allowing things to happen um and will a fortune like a strike like a lucky strike uh, you know and again different different dynamics
between you and your person. Um, so Pisces, where are we right now? Obstacles, challenges, and emotional loss. So pretty sure sums up, right? Uh, what you are going through right now. And this is the energy of internal struggles. And I kind of understand because you need answers and you are confused right now with the Seven of Cups. Uh, searching for the truth. That's how you get the judgment as the overall energy, right? The truth about this love. This is how it feels. Um, and right now we kind of have struggles seeing it. Was it true? Was it not true? Right? Challenging your own emotions when it comes to this and probably missing them from time to time. Um, emotional loss. Um, emotional loss. That is no doubt. Now this person of yours, um, we do have uh, the full new beginnings and we have uh, the Hierophant Taurus energy again. You might be dealing with a Taurus, but um, again, this person uh, feels like uh, being in a new beginning. Maybe for some of you, they are in a new commitment or there is a leap of faith about a commitment. They maybe were in a commitment before they um, met you and they went back to this person. It has this energy of commitment and and new beginnings like a renewal. Um, and if they are not trying to renew this connection with you, they might already be in in a form of, you know, exploring a commitment of some sort. But, but, it feels like me, it feels like Pisces. For me, um, one feel rejected and one was and going through financial and material changes while the other person is maybe jumping in another partnership. Pisces, they might be with someone and I, I might be the, uh, the party pooper here, but, um, they show up with a strong energy of commitment, of partnership, a sense of victory, a sense of them doing what they needed uh, to be done. And right at the core of this is um, the rejection, right? Um, and you go through the most important changes at, at this point. I'm not sure they were fully honest. That's how we uh, got you all confused or they got you all confused with the Seven of Cups. I'm not sure. They might have been committed prior to being committed to you or in a connection with you. But there is no doubt that it's a strong energy of marriage over here. And, um, and then you beginning a renewal of some form of a commitment that they had in the past. Coming your way, definitely justice, definitely balance, and definitely your intuition is on point as always. Uh, the high priestess is, is also your energy, um, Pisces Cancer energy. Energy is of inaction is the best course of action. And no, with the justice, Libra energy, that justice is on your side and everything will be paid in full, right? Uh, it always is, uh, wanted or not. And this person of yours, they do have the Ace of Cups, love begins, they have new beginnings, new beginnings, and the Empress is kind of like if they had someone like the mother of their children, the father of their children, there's, there is a sense of moving back to a, renewing a, uh, to a renewal of a commitment with someone uh, that had uh, something strong, you know, and, um, and new beginnings. And mutual energies between the two of you, mental conflict and the three of cups. We are still confused about that third party situation and it might have been one. Three of pentacles, three of cups, two of swords, seven of cups. It's a lot of confusion and it's kind of like they, they started a new beginning all too quick to be someone new, if you know what I mean, you know. It's like they jumped in a new beginning but it feels so committed and so it's like they already had this, um, you know, before ending it with you. It's like somebody preparing, right, the whole um, strategy way before leaving the home in some way. But um, make no mistake, right, we do have the justice and we do have the judgment. The universe has a very um, balanced way of putting things and uh, the pieces back into place. And um, and this is exactly right, justice, karma, balance, um, coming your way and your intuition is on point on this is kind of like a, a confirmation that you needed the whole reading actually is about an ending because of a commitment that somebody had someplace else and got you all confused and got you confused about the truth okay i feel that this is the confirmation you are waiting for 
um, in, in this uh, particular reading. Um, let's ask for some guidance when it comes to love and let's um, send the question out there open, uh, whatever we need to know. Uh, be it about this person, be it about somebody else, someone else. And we do have the distorted feminine, so can be feminine, can be masculine, but this is the energy of needing help. This is the energy of coming from a place of um, a need to heal a situation. Life purpose, it has this uh, feeling of somebody using you for their life purpose, Pisces. A distorted feminine can be a distorted masculine, right? Using you in some way for advancing something. And uh, Pisces, you are asked to manifest a new partner. Ask, uh, act as if your partner is here. So whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. So you'll always consider them. And we have love. And bottom of the deck, have faith. Trust your faith in this situation. So you have manifesting love, love and have faith. Love is coming your way. Somebody is getting a confirmation there. A couple of confirmations, I would say, in this reading. And I know it's a harsh one, Pisces, I know. I picked up the energy of someone who is finally realizing uh, being used or being, you know, like in between. Um, and somebody not being honest with you. Um, so energies we need to put back into the flow. And we do have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. We have discipline, we have health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Releasing guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So discipline, health, releasing guilt, surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in this relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence and honesty. I can't always expect the, expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. So the universe is asking you to be honest to yourself. You know, honest that you need to put some boundaries to this situation. Self-discipline, focus on your health and opening up and open up to new opportunities. You have manifestation of new love. It's kind of like the confirmation that you needed saying yeah they were dishonest they were committed to somebody else they went straight back to them and um, this is another energy for someone so let's not be confused about the reconciliation here let's not be confused about the truth right um because we know and you know you have the high priestess right your intuition is on point it's a confirmation that whatever your gut feeling is telling you that is something there um, so guys, please stay strong for me and safe. Love you. Take care.